news or what's popular nowadays. Um, you may want to say, you know, like, we must fix this vulnerability. This is what everybody's doing. So let's say that um, a while ago I heard that um, a number of uh, laptops were in, in a rental car and the rental car was stolen. And so, you know, a knee-jerk reaction might be, well, we have to encrypt all the hard drives in the entire company all the time. Well, maybe, but don't do it just because you heard that on the news, right? Don't fall into that trap of, you know, holy crap, what's going on, right? Like, we have to solve this problem right now and then, like, think about it, step back, and try to figure out um, where the biggest impact is. So finally, um, we're going to talk about, like, pushing security activities upstream. So threat modeling, design review, and attack surface reduction. Um, we're going to use each of these things in order to, um, you know, uh, reduce the, the overall security profile of our system and increase the overall security. So for threat modeling, we're going to start to uncover vulnerabilities before they happen, before they even happen, right? So um, one of the neat things about threat modeling is we're doing it so early, there may not be any code yet. But we can anticipate these vulnerabilities and mitigate them before they become an issue, which is huge, right? If anybody's ever, um, you know, seen those, those Kokomo statistics, you know, the ones that I'm talking about, like finding a bug in the uh, um, design phase costs you a dollar, finding it in the development phase costs you five dollars, testing is ten dollars or twenty dollars, and after deployment it's a hundred dollars or something like that. Well, security is very similar, right, except it's probably more, more expensive the further down you go. So finding and fixing these issues um, before they become an issue um, can be huge. Thinking about um, uh, common problems and uh, in your design review can also help. Don't rely too heavy on testing. Um, a common thing is to say we're going to build software and then we're going to toss it over to the, develop or the testers and they're going to find all our issues. And really this should just be kind of a backstop for, um, to make sure that everything that you've done up to this point is working. So your testers should find it very difficult to find vulnerabilities. It shouldn't be their job to enumerate every single vulnerability. Most of those should have already been mitigated. Uh, brain dead things like cross site scripting and SQL injection should never ever happen in your software. Right? Those, those, those should be mitigated for as soon as your developers write a line of code. Um, so, you know, um, yeah, doing those kinds of things are, are really important. And so each phase and each security activity actually builds upon the next one. So um, think about things like that. So um, I don't want to talk too much about this stuff, and I'm, I'm uh, now kind of opening it up for, for questions if, that, if anybody has any. Um, but uh, we do do a number of different things at Security Innovation, like um, you know, uh, we do architecture and design reviews, code reviews, and things like that. Um, and we can help out if you need to uh, need help. But um, any questions so far? All right. Well, if you don't, if you don't have any questions or you don't want to raise your hand right now, um, if you send me an email, I'll be happy to send you the slides. Um, if you're interested, uh, I'll also send you a free e-learning course and things like that to, to help out if any of these things weren't clear. And then uh, finally, just send me an email if you have any questions um, or comments or concerns or just want to be friends. <laughs>